Dr. Ning Li. Mysterious disappearances often involve individuals whose work defies convention. The perplexing case of Dr. Ning Li, whose groundbreaking research on anti-gravity beguiled and confounded her peers, is one such story. Dr. Ning Li emigrated from China to the United States in 1983, joining the Center for Space Plasma and Aeronomic Research at the University of Alabama. In the early 90s, her pioneering papers on anti-gravity were met with skepticism, dismissed by many as fanciful science fiction. Still, Lee's theoretical work proposed a specific practical method for generating an anti-gravity field, a concept that promised transformative applications. In 1999, Lee left academia to found her own company, AC Gravity. To further her research, she secured a significant grant from the Department of Defense, nearly half a million dollars. This pivotal moment marked the beginning of a series of strange and troubling events in her life. Despite the promising start, AC Gravity never published any of its research. By 2003, Lee had vanished from the public eye. Her last known communication was a private email to colleagues, specifically reporting an experiment that generated, quote, 11 kilowatts of output energy. After this message, she disappeared entirely. Her colleagues continued to send emails, which were marked as read, but no replies ever came. Rumors and speculation filled the void left by her disappearance. Some suggested she was working under strict confidentiality for NASA or the Department of Defense. Jack Sarfati, a fellow scientist, speculated that she had returned to China, now funded by the Chinese government, and was beyond the Pentagon's reach, a potential national security threat. In an interview years later, Leah's son recounted a cryptic exchange with his mother, quote, Mom, do you need to tell me something? He asked. Her response was as enigmatic as her disappearance, quote, First off, you don't know anything. Second off, if you even think you might know something, you forget about it. Lee's son recounted how her work under the Defense Department had never actually ceased, instead becoming classified and shrouded in secrecy, a burden that weighed heavily on her. Tragedy struck in 2014 when Lee was hit by a vehicle, an accident witnessed by her husband of 46 years, who suffered a fatal heart attack on the spot. Lee sustained severe brain damage as a result of the accident. An obituary published in 2021 announced her death at the age of 79 in Huntsville. Ultimately, Dr. Ning Li's story is one of loyalty and sacrifice. It was discovered that she steadfastly refused the overtures of the Chinese Communist Party, remaining dedicated to her work in America. This dedication cost her dearly. She was even barred from returning to China for her mother's funeral. However, her loyalty to her adopted country and dedication to her mysterious research remained unbroken until the end. Madman Mike Markham In early 1995, a young inventor known as Madman Mike sought to challenge the very fabric of time with a machine he believed could predict future lottery numbers. Ridiculed at first, Mike's critics were stunned when he seemingly vanished while testing his invention. At just 21, Mike Markham was an electrical engineering student when he began experimenting with a Jacob's Ladder spark generator. This simple device, capable of producing an electrical spark that jumps between antennae, sparked an idea that would consume him. During one of his experiments, Mike observed something extraordinary. He claimed to have seen a circular vortex into which he threw a metal screw. According to Mike, the screw vanished and then reappeared a few feet away. He theorized that the screw had traveled through time, only re-emerging when time caught up to it. To harness this phenomenon for time travel, Mike realized he needed a much larger and more powerful Jacob's Ladder. Lacking the funds to purchase the necessary equipment, he resorted to breaking into a power station and stealing six transformers. When he fired up his large-scale Jacob's Ladder, the ensuing blackout lasted several hours and attracted the attention of the police. Arrested for theft, Markham spent time in prison. Yet his notoriety only grew. Emerging from prison, Markham embraced the nickname Madman Mike and took to the airwaves, appealing for donations to complete his project. Despite his mad reputation, he raised enough money to proceed legally. By 1996, Mike claimed that his early tests had shown promise. Quote, I tossed in about 200 objects and animals in total, conducting over 200 tests, he later explained. In 1997, just as he allegedly perfected his invention, Mike vanished. Speculation ran wild, with some suggesting he had time-traveled to the 1930s and died on a California beach. 
Years later, the mystery deepened. Mike resurfaced, or so it seemed, posting on various blogs about his disappearance. In a 2022 Reddit post, he addressed the rumors, quote, Rumors are ablazing that I am dead, not well, and in time travel to 1930-something, where I died on a beach in a tube. Whoever posted those pictures of a redhead, that is also not me. He explained that his time machine plans were, quote, stalled at the moment until I can get some inverters. Skeptics remain, doubting the authenticity of these posts. Despite multiple requests, the poster has yet to provide proof of his identity. Whether Madman Mike truly defied time or simply became another puzzle of the digital age remains a mystery. Tesla's Missing Files In some cases, the mystery does not lie in the disappearance of the inventor, but in the unusual, immoral, and illegal vanishing of their work. Such is the case surrounding the final years and legacy of Nikola Tesla, a man credited with revolutionizing the world through his pioneering work on alternating currents. As Tesla aged, his fortunes waned, and his mental health deteriorated. Once a visionary genius, he became erratic and eccentric. Tesla meticulously counted his steps, developed an obsession with cleanliness and certain numbers, and displayed a variety of peculiar quirks. His later years were marked by solitude, with his only companions being the pigeons he fed daily on the streets of New York. On January 7, 1943, at the age of 86, Tesla was found dead in his room at the New Yorker Hotel. The discovery was grim. He'd been deceased for two days, a Do Not Disturb sign still hanging on his door. Shortly after Tesla's death, his nephew, Savako Sinovich, arrived at the hotel to collect his uncle's belongings. He later reported that some of Tesla's most important papers, including a black notebook filled with sensitive information, were missing. This claim was met with skepticism and concern, particularly from U.S. government officials. The FBI's declassified files, released in 2016, reveal a complex narrative. Kosinovich, the Yugoslavian ambassador to the U.S., was suspected of intending to transfer Tesla's research to Yugoslavia. The Office of Alien Property Custodian, or APC, intervened, fearing the potential leakage of sensitive information. Despite legal ambiguities regarding their authority over Tesla's estate, given his status as a naturalized U.S. citizen, the APC confiscated his possessions and files. Among these were details and plans for the elusive Death Ray, or Teleforce, a theoretical particle beam weapon that Tesla claimed could bring down aircraft hundreds of miles away. An MIT professor, Dr. John G. Trump, uncle of future President Donald Trump, was tasked with examining Tesla's papers. Dr. Trump concluded that Tesla's later works were primarily of a, quote, speculative, philosophical, and promotional character, and lacked practical applicability. Despite Dr. Trump's dismissal, the U.S. military showed renewed interest in Tesla's beam weaponry after World War II. Requests for Tesla's papers from various military agencies suggest an ongoing interest in his ideas. By 1952, after a lengthy legal battle, Kosinovich received his uncle's possessions. However, of the 80 trunks Tesla had claimed to own, only 60 were returned to the family, fueling speculation that the U.S. government retained some of Tesla's most sensitive work. The mystery of whether the government returned all of Tesla's papers persists today. Some classified copies of Tesla's research remain, but most originals are now housed in the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade, Serbia. Louis Le Prince Louis Le Prince, often heralded as the father of cinematography, crafted an early motion picture camera that would set the stage for the film industry. Yet his incredible achievements are shadowed by the murky circumstances of his mysterious disappearance and presumed death. In October 1888, in the industrial heart of Leeds, England, Le Prince captured what is widely regarded as the oldest surviving film in existence, the Round Hay Garden Scene. This historic 2 minute 11 second movie was a precursor to a burgeoning career poised to revolutionize visual storytelling. However, fate had other plans. Two years later, Le Prince embarked on a journey to France, intending to visit his brother and subsequently travel to Paris to reunite with friends and family. He missed his scheduled train from Dijon and boarded a later one. From that moment, Louis Le Prince vanished without a trace. Despite an exhaustive seven year search by Scotland Yard, no concrete evidence surfaced. Over the years, numerous theories have attempted to explain his disappearance. In 1890, a drowned man was pulled from the Seine, but the body's stature disqualified it from being the prince. 
speculation ran wild. One film historian suggested fratricide, alleging that the prince's brother, the last person to see him, might have killed him for financial gain. Another theory proposed that the prince, allegedly gay, chose to disappear voluntarily to spare his family the societal shame of the era. However, none of these theories were substantiated. Perhaps the most plausible and controversial theory is that the prince was assassinated on the orders of Thomas Edison over a patent dispute. At the time of his disappearance, the prince was on the verge of patenting a projector in 1889 with plans to showcase his inventions in the United States. Edison, a rival in the race to dominate the nascent film industry, later claimed the invention of the moving picture camera as his own. Adding to the intrigue of this theory, Louis Le Prince's son, Adolf, testified in court against Edison. Two years later, Adolf was found dead on Fire Island near New York from a gunshot wound. Although he was ruled to have died in his own hand, the circumstances of his death have fueled ongoing suspicion. The life and disappearance of Louis Le Prince remain a compelling mystery, intertwined with the early competitive days of cinema. His pioneering spirit and the unresolved questions of his fate continue to haunt the story of motion picture history. Ettore Majorana. Ettore Majorana's contributions to theoretical physics were so profound that numerous equations, prizes, and particles now bear his name. A reclusive genius, Majorana's mysterious disappearance in 1938 has sparked speculation for decades. By all accounts, Majorana preferred the shadows. His work flourished in the early 20th century, leading to significant breakthroughs often ahead of their time. Despite his introverted nature, Majorana was drawn into Enrico Fermi's circle of elite experimental scientists in the 1920s at the insistence of his friend Emilio Segre. In 1937, Majorana predicted the existence of a novel type of particle that could be its own antimatter, exhibiting self-destructive tendencies. This prediction was revolutionary, foreseeing particles that physicists now call Majorana fermions. Segre later received a Nobel Prize for related discoveries, highlighting the groundbreaking nature of Majorana's insights. Yet, just months after this breakthrough, at the age of 31, Majorana emptied his bank account, took a boat from Naples to Palermo, and vanished. He purchased a return ticket to Naples, but it remains uncertain if he ever used it. Majorana's disappearance has been fertile ground for theories ranging from monastic seclusion to kidnapping by foreign governments. In his final communication, Majorana wrote a note to a colleague at the Naples Physics Institute, quote, there isn't a bit of selfishness in it, but I realize what trouble my sudden disappearance will cause you and the students. For this as well, I beg your forgiveness. Investigations over the years have offered tantalizing clues, but no definitive answers. In 2011, Roman authorities analyzed a 1955 photograph purportedly showing Majorana in Argentina. Further evidence in 2015 suggested he had lived in Venezuela between 1955 and 59, leading to the closure of the case with the assumption that Majorana voluntarily emigrated. Majorana's legacy persists not only in the mystery of his life, but also in the ongoing quest to confirm his theoretical particles. Modern physicists are engrossed in what some describe as the hunt for Majoranas. Researchers from Google, Microsoft, and the University of California, Santa Barbara, are attempting to approximate Majorana particles. They aim to corral these particles on supercooled chips, hoping to fortify quantum computers by exploiting the particle's unique properties. Do you believe any of these inventors were intentionally silenced or disappeared because of their inventions? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching Dark Five. Like and subscribe to continue exploring the greatest mysteries of this world and beyond.